What's up everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we'll be having a look at Centrifuge. What is Centrifuge? Centrifuge bridges real world assets into decentralized finance to bring down the cost of capital for SMEs and provide DeFi investors with a stable source of yield uncorrelated from volatile crypto assets. So as we know, cryptocurrencies they can be quite volatile. They go up and they go down and you never really know when. Stable crypt cryptocurrencies try to keep the coin at a steady price for as long as possible. It's the reason why it's called stablecoin. It's basically a reflection of what they do with the dollar and the pound and the yang. And it continues. So what is Centrifuge trying to do in this area? What are they trying to achieve? This is what I'm trying to understand. And today we're going to be having a look into that. So we'll start with the today's financial system. Only the largest businesses get direct access to liquidity capital market. Most depends on banks for their capital need. The lack of open and transparent market denies these smaller businesses access to competitive interest rates mostly due to market inefficiency and transaction costs. So DeFi is growing financial system without any barriers of, of these entries. So Centrifuge wants to bring these benefits to all borrowers that's until now had access to DeFi liquidity. So let's take a look at the face and products. The Tin Lake. Centrifuge allows anyone to launch an on-chain credit fund, creating collateral back pools of loans. Now, Tin Lake offers an easy way into the DeFi liquidity for any businesses. For DeFi investors, these assets will create a safe, stable yield for their money, correlated from attractive yet volatile returns in crypto markets. So through the CFG rewards, investors can farm additional yields and participate in the ecosystem. Tinlake is currently built on Ethereum. However, going forward, it will be fully migrated to the Centrifuge chain and their secure P2P protocol. This will this will allow accurate pricing and risk assessments of any assets. Be that your future revenues as a business, a house or some farmland, create liquidity markets from these assets. As this ecosystem grows, more data will be on chain, reducing the trust in off chain world and reducing the dependency on a single point of failure. So what they believe is that Tin Lake is the only first step. The protocol or building will enable use cases such as deep tier finance fulfilling their vision for foster economic opportunities everywhere. This is a quote found on the Centrifuge website. We bring the bridge that brings trillions from the real world to DeFi. DeFi standing for decentralized finance. So DeFi, the next financial system. DeFi applications strive to fulfill the service of traditional services in a permissionless, global and transparent manner built primarily on the Ethereum blockchain. It's an entirely new ecosystem being built without borders, banks or governance uh, control currencies. Now Centrifuge is built inside the DeFi economy and will soon have direct integration with other DeFi protocols such as Maker and Aave, but it has also built a way for traditional finance to onboard easily, such as NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Now this is a unique point I wanted to get into because non-fungible tokens have been getting a lot of attention recently. In the, in the past six months, I'd say they've been getting a lot of attention and growing in popularity. And it looks like that's not gonna slow down anytime soon. So it's only right that we talk about this seen as Centrifuge as their own approach on Centrifuge as ha Centrifuge, Centrifuge has their own approach on NFTs. NFTs, the link to traditional finance. Now, unlike fungible tokens such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or DOT, NFTs are non-fungible and they're unique. You cannot interchange them and you cannot fraction fractionalize them. No two NFTs are the same. You know, they're not like the dollar that can be interchangeable. NFTs are very unique to themselves and they, for the most part, 
they stay that way, which is a good thing. Centrifuge privacy enables NFTs are tokenized presentations of individuals' assets, keeping some of the assets attributes private on a P2P protocol. While the centrifuge chain, a public decentralized ledger, tracks the asset ownership. This structure allows us to create something unique in DeFi. Centrifuge uses NFTs as a digital representation of real world assets, such as an invoice or a mortgage, so they can be used as collateral in Tin Lake. This process of the minting NFTs from real world assets is traditional finance ticket to access in DeFi liquidity and will have real world implications. So expand access to asset financing, going bankless, lowers the barriers of entry for orientating and investing in assets, scales asset financing. These pools can grow very big and create liquidity marketplace for illiquid assets. Create a bridge between the real world and DeFi. We bridge the value from the real world over DeFi in turn in in turn at a new liquidity next thing i'd like to do is to take a look at the centrifuge ecosystem now we'll start with tin lake tin lake is the consumer facing dap used by assets orienters and investors to finance assets this is currently built on ethereum tin lake communicates to centrifuge chains via a chain safe bridge but moving forward, Tin Lake will fully migrate to Centrifuge Change, which is good. Tin Lake allows for a on-chain borrowing against collateralized assets completely managed by smart contracts. Not only does Tin Lake enable asset orienters to access the growing liquidity in the decentralized finance ecosystem, it also enables stable coins issuers to offer a stable store of value but by collateralization assets uh, assets pool ultimately tin lake will become a fully decentralized financing protocol that interoperates with different blockchains and plugs into varieties of funding sources including a varieties of stable coins now we need to have a look at the centrifuge chain because everything is being migrated to the centrifuge chain from ethereum which is interesting. So we need to have a proper look at this in order if we want to understand what the centrifuge chain is and how will it benefit centrifuge overall? Because they wouldn't have started on Ethereum if that wouldn't have benefit them in the beginning. But obviously this is still in development. So the fact that they're already outlining to transfer and migrate everything to centrifuge chain does tell me a lot that they intend on being as independent as possible. It is a proof of stake blockchain built on a substrate that enables users to bring their assets on chain as non-fungible tokens slash NFTs. This is a starting point to unlock financing for any type of assets to DeFi. Bridge the Ethereum from day one. Centrifuge chain uses its own native token, the Centrifuge CFG token. It's a proof of stake blockchain built on substrates that enables users to bring their assets on chain as non fungible tokens. This is starting point to unlock financing for and any type of asset through DeFi. Bridge the Ethereum from day one. Centrifuge uses its own native token, the Centrifuge token. It is also incentivized nodes, known as collaterals and um, nominate us to participate through a block reward. This, this public chain is owned and operated by a single party. The centrifuge token empowers holders with a on-chain governance mechanism that empowers token holders to guide development through centrifuge. This chain also employs the centrifuge token to stake value and provide revenue for security and a centrifuge adoption currently through liquidity rewards. So let's take a look at the centrifuge token. The centrifuge token powers the centrifuge chain. CFG is uh, designed to incentivize desirable behavior on centrifuge chain. It is, uh, it is called centrifuge mechanism design to create a robust decentralized system. 
owning CFG gives users a stake in the centrifuge network and can be used to pay transaction fees, stake rewards, collaterals, and participate in centrifuge on-chain governance. It will also incentivize chain security, both by rewarding DOT holders in the parachain loan offering and by distributing a block reward to collaterals and nominators, Centrifuge also empowers its holders with governance. Centrifuge chain use substrate native governance models, compro compromising on elected um, council and ability to administrators network upgrades. What I find really interesting as well is the Ethereum and DOT relationship. Centrifuge chain bridges the Ethereum and Polkadot system, bringing DeFi liquidity from both financial worlds and assets on Ting Lake. So let's have a let's have a quick look into this. So this gives Centrifuge a edge on accessing two of the biggest ecosystem in Ethereum. Tin Lake is an open, smart contract based marketplace of assets of assets pools bringing together asset orienters and investors which seeks to utilize the full potential of decentralized finance. Ultimately, Tinlake will become a fully decentralized protocol that interoperates with different blockchains and plug into varieties of funding source. So through the Tinlake pool, businesses or asset orienters can responsibly finance real world assets, such as invoice mortgages or streaming royalties through DeFi, and accessing blank, blankless liquidity. They do this by tokenizing their financial assets into non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and use these NFTs as collaterals in their tin lake pool to finance their assets. These assets create a safe, stable return for DeFi investors and DeFi protocols who provide the liquidity and earn, and earn yield and CFG rewards for every tin lake pool the investor can invest in two different tokens, TIN and DROP. TIN, known as risk token, takes the risk of default first, but also receives higher returns. DROP, also known as yield token, is protected against default by the TIN token and receives stable, but usually lower returns. This is similar to junior, senior investor, junior senior investment structure common in traditional finance like i said this this cryptocurrency is still in development so no market data is available at the moment so my next video will be announcing the centrifuge token sale on coinlist so this will be quite interesting we'll be talking about centrifuge once again but we'll have a bit of a deeper look into the centrifuge token sale on CoinList, which is very important because that's how they create funding. That's how that's how they earn money. This is their ICO. So it's very important. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And you can check out my next video, part two of Centrifuge on the token sale that's upcoming this month. It will be held on May the 26th of this month. Two different ICO in one day at different times, of course. So I'd say people have plenty of time to register. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And of course, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one.